Hey guys. Okay, so I've been sitting at a desk all day editing podcast episodes. So let's work out the hips a little bit to to kind of balance that out. Uh, so we're starting in a balance pose, and if you can hold on to a wall if you need to, okay. But try to like learn how to get off the wall. You know, we want to progress towards being able to stand on one foot because. Uh, that's really important, especially as we get older, to have that center of balance and be able to, you know, like, not fall over as often because the older you get, falling over becomes more of a big deal. Okay, so, if all you can do is stand, then don't worry about the rest of it. Just practice your standing on one leg thing. So you can take this leg, hook it up here, and then you wanna kinda push this knee down, you know, start to feel it kind of back here, and just, you know, I teach intuitive yoga, leaning toward restorative and yin. The beautiful thing about yoga is that it is a personal practice, and because it's a personal practice, and there's a thousand, there's as many different types of yoga as there are people practicing yoga. So I really, I can, I can facilitate, I can point you in general directions, but it's really up to you to listen to your body and know where its boundaries are, where it, what it likes, what it doesn't like. You know, you know your injuries or your surgeries or your medical history, I don't. So keep that in mind and um, take everything I say as a general point of direction, what's most important is that you listen to you. You listen to your body. You listen to your sensations that you are getting, okay? If it's good, lean into it. If it's bad, lean out of it. You can take this back here. We're all pretty well familiar with this one, right? So from here, you can lean and that'll kind of help Stretch it out a little bit. I like leaning to the side because my hips really like that. And then this leg's crying because I spent too much time talking in this position on the other side. So let's go ahead and get over here. Again, pushing this kind of down. We want like a straight line. That is what we're working towards. Relaxing the face and shoulders. Always opening up the heart center and bringing those shoulders back and down, creating space in the neck. You never want those shoulders to come up to the ears because that's how, that's a stress response. You can lean forward here. If you're laughing at me, that's fine. And kind of bring this back here. Kind of wiggle around in it. Just find a direction that feels good. Whatever that looks like for you, just be gentle and slow and controlled. Slow and controlled is going to protect you from getting hurt. You are responsible for your own tap out. All right, let's go up, stretch through the ribs, let's come over to one side, let's come over to the other side. We're going to reach out with our fingertips as we come down to the floor. Take a deep breath. We're going to hang out here for just a second. Let our body adjust. Let's bring our hands up to the shins, roll the shoulders back and down again, create space in the neck. So now we have flat back and that is going to help us go a little bit deeper in our forward fold. Letting the head hang heavy, allowing gravity to pull apart those vertebrae, creating space in the spine the neck, the lower back. 
And we can lean a little bit to, can you start out straight? Lean a little bit to here so that you're creating space and that hip on that side. And then you can go over to the other side, leaning, stretching, so that we're creating space in this hip. Breathing fully. Listening to our body. Creating space. Letting the head hang heavy. Working with gravity. All right, let's take a step back into down dog. Oops, excuse me, Luca. Figuring out these angles still, because they are not straight on, they're more diagonal. Creating space in the neck, bicep will through the legs, opening up those hips. Let's bring that right foot to point at the ceiling and hold it there for a second. And then we'll bring it all the way through for pigeon. This is a fan favorite. This is lovely. You either love this or hate this, honestly. We're going to come back to our breathing. And relaxing into it. You can stay up here if you want to, or you can come all the way down to the floor. Checking in with how we feel today. Noticing how the air feels on our skin. Giving ourselves all the time and space relax into it. Throw some mood throws out. We haven't talked about mood throws, have we? We will. I'll get to it. push back up. Back to our down dog. So bicycle through the legs, restore blood flow. And then we'll take our left foot to the ceiling. And then bring it all the way through for pigeon on the other side. Scanning through our body, noticing our senses, what we see, what we feel, physically, mentally, emotionally, not needing to analyze it or put a name to it, label it as good or bad. It just exists and we're just noticing it.
allowing things to be what they are. Just cultivating our awareness, focusing on the present moment. Come back up, back to our down dog, rock with the booty legs again. And let's come down to tabletop to transition into frog. So with frog, we're going down like this. Let me turn sideways so that you can see the alignment. So you don't want to be too far up or too far back. You want to be level and balanced, right in the middle, the best you can do probably without a mirror. This is kind of hard on the knees, so if you have any kind of padding or if you're on a mat, you can fold up the edges of it to cushion the knees a little bit, which is what I should have done. Remembering to breathe fully into the belly. If you find your mind wandering to things outside the moment, just gently bring it back. Focusing on the breathing, the relaxing, the senses. gently come in out of that. Let me grab my mat. I haven't vacuumed since yesterday and uh, Zuko keeps us busy with that. So let's come on to our backs. Crossing one leg like so and if that's enough then that's enough that's fine or you can bring it up if you have blocks you can stack them underneath this foot right here to kind of help you a little bit you can also do this against a wall so that you can put your foot up on it so that kind of gives you a little bit of a leverage if this isn't comfortable you want to eventually progress to the shoulders being flat on the floor that's you want your back flat so that's the goal, besides just, uh, you know, this stretches the hips really well.
You can also do this one sitting at your desk. So like you're sitting up and you just have your leg crossed over and then lean forward a little bit. breathing and melting into the floor. Switching sides whenever you're ready to do so. Remember, I'm just here to facilitate, so if you're not ready to move, then don't. If you are ready to move, then do. is to melt away any tension, any tightness, any stress being held in our body, which oftentimes means scanning it and actively looking for the tight muscles. And we can shake that out, bring the feet together for cobbler, recline cobbler, because we also do regular cobbler, which is sitting up. Deep breaths. And let's take a second to tell our bodies that it's doing a good job today. Any day we wake up alive, our body is doing a great job and we really need to start recognizing that more. That we have good bodies, just however they are. They're not here to try and meet our ridiculous beauty standards. They're here to be functional. They're here to 
Keep us breathing, keep the heart beating, keep the blood pumping. They are vehicles. That's their job. Our job is to love it, to fuel it properly, you know, change the oil, eat good food, that kind of stuff. Beating it up, telling it it's doing bad, or like thinking bad thoughts about it, that's unhelpful at the very least. It's harmful at the most. So be sure you show your body some love today. You know what I want? I want my block. So if you don't have a block yet, you really should invest in one. Okay, get two. Get two if you can, because we do some things with two. But let's take our block. If you have one, if you don't, I'm sorry. You can freestyle. Put it up under the hips. And that in and of itself is just fantastic but you can also bring the legs up and wiggle around a little bit it's like a foam roller massage releasing and letting go of all of those knots in there just want to gently play with all of the directions Focusing on relaxing. Breathing. being thankful for all of the things, our bodies, the space that we have here to do this, to practice, internet, internet's great. Just thankful for all the things, air conditioning, man, am I thankful we've had air conditioning this past week or two. Even though, you know, you can just go outside and you don't even have to work out. It's like a free detox, a free workout. <laughs> With all the sweat. You can do this for as long as you like. But I do want to say that once you're done, don't just jump, jump up and run off, okay? Once you're done, remove your block and then bring your knees up, roll around a little bit because that is a back bend and we want to put our spine back the way it goes. If you feel a lot better now I do let me know any specifics so like uh, if you're like hey hey can we do shoulders next we absolutely can do shoulders next if you're like yo core work oh, I need some core work I'm like, let's go balance poses uh, legs like what do you want okay cuz with no feedback I'm just gonna do what I want so might be a little repetitive sometimes 
But anyway, the more feedback I can get from you about all of the things, not only just in the yoga videos, but like all the other ones too. Like I am here for it uh, and it helps me help you better. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Namaste. See you later.